Hello everyone, this is Scramble from Emotion Risk Crypto Trading. Today we're going to discuss about Bitcoin. As we all know, it's the market trend indicator for the entire crypto space. Therefore, it's important to know how things are going and what we could expect from the market analysis side, which helps us to decide to make better decisions. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the market cap, $122.9 billion. Currently, the entire space has uh, decreases in the last 24 hours and we're expecting more as the uh, market analysis for the entire space represents bearish signals. Let's go ahead and see where we could entry, what we could expect from the current situation and what is the pattern I found out which could help us a lot. Now we've got these four rectangles over here uh, which are uh, quite meaningful representing some patterns which I've connected and they will help us finding a very good entry point if we achieve that. Now, rectangle number one is connected with rectangle number two, number three with number four, because each of them represent the same pattern. The only difference which is quite meaningful is the volume. Now, if you look what happened before rectangle number one, which represents parabolic, quite steady, and some sort of parabolic at some point growth without selling pressure. That's what matters. So before rectangle number one, um, steady growth without um, selling pressure going on. The same thing basically happened with the rectangle paired up with, which is the number two. Parabolic growth without too much selling pressure. Now, if we compare number three, with number four, after number one, parabolic movements without too much selling pressure, parabolic movements without too much selling pressure. This is what happened between the situations, right? Between all the rectangles. And now let's take a look what happened inside the rectangles. We have approached basically within the rectangle number one, some sort of all time high at that point. Oops. Yeah, some sort of all time high at that point. Then we had a uh, little bit of pullback coming down the way, but after that we were basically skyrocketing without too much resistance. Let's take a look at the rectangle which is paired with number two, some sort of pullback and after that parabolic movement upwards, which is definitely very healthy by matching these two situations as a pattern. Now let's take a look at number three, which represents at that time it was all time high for now, it's all time high on number four. We had from the all time high, a major pullback from the all time high, a major pullback. The way that the reason why it's longer, it's because of the volume, which I also told you that's the only meaningful difference between these patterns as of right now. But they're still the same by the structure and psychological purposes. Now, what happened after rectangle number three? is something that makes me curious, as well as if the um, patterns will continue to repeat, that's what's gonna happen after number four as well. So let's take a look what happened right over here. It's we had basically a decrease from the top to a lower level, basically of what happened in rectangle number three. That will represent this thing. This would be basically the pattern. So the way history speaks and what market analysis says, if this one right here is going to be repeated as rectangle number one with number two repeated and rectangle number three with number four repeated, if this thing continues as it should, then we're going to have basically an entry point which represents high chances of 55, 65 and 77 percent profit. Now, if you buy 3,200, you're going to achieve 55 percent profit when the new all time high is going to be achieved, which is going to happen. Right. So that's something to consider right here. If you buy 3000, you're going to achieve 65 percent when the new all time high is going to be achieved which is happening for sure. Then if you buy 2,800 bucks, 
um, you're going to achieve 77%, right? So the lower you go, obviously, the more you make when the new all-time high is going to be achieved. And that's something to consider. On the other side, once the rally starts, between 30% to 50% profit can be achieved within the first three to five days of the rally, right? So what I mean by that is if it starts basically from, I don't know, from 3,000, right? Because this um, circle represents a possible correct entry point from the market analysis view, right? So anywhere within the circle, basically you're making a correct movement, which is represented by the market analysis. Therefore, uh, anywhere from here, we could basically expect a spike, uh, which could mean between 30 to 50% within the first three to five days, which would be very good because from here, for example, it would be 30% um, would be somewhere around here till uh, up here, right? So that would be pretty great. It would be a movement like that in three to five days. Great time to, uh, to secure profits. Sell off if you're a day trader. Market is going to have a little pullback. Buy back and then ride it forward. This is the way it's going to look like for sure. If we follow basically exactly as we were following um, rectangle number one with number two, number three with number four, basically the patterns repeated. The only thing that's going to be difference, the only thing that's going to be different for now, as it was, it's going to be the volume. It's going to be more volume. The market cap is bigger than it was at that time. The entire crypto space is following a huger market cap. More money will come into the space uh, and that's going to be just better for us. Right. So this is what the market analysis represents as of right now. It's not my own prediction, guys. It's what the chart says. And I'm showing you the language of the market. Now, that's something to consider. And uh, this is the way it looks like. These are the things that we have to keep in mind. And as of right now, basically, even the $2,979 price tag represents a cross over here between uh, the uh, kind of the support and resistance structured price, which is this one over here, this blue line, as well as the entire space with crypto of the Bitcoin support line, which goes on from here, uh, just like that, basically hitting the price point around this one, which is inside a circle, which represents a correct entry, right? That's why we have so many patterns. We have so many reasons why we could think uh, this prices will represent a correct entry if we achieve that. Now, if we break out of this resistance line quicker, if we come down the way like this and we break out quicker, then obviously things will change and you have to run market analysis at that time specifically in order to see what you can achieve from a breakout like that. Now, currently there are just very few chances of breaking out, uh, which could be a um, confirmed breakout. You have to wait for that in order to see if it's like that or not. Now, however, there are very small chances of achieving that by the way the market looks like and by looking at the history. Um, in some sort of way, the uh, history will not always repeat because we're not going to follow basically the same uh, patterns and same charts for years. And I'm sure about that. But as of right now, the way it looks like and the rectangles are having um, a very high probability of continuing the way it continued after rectangle number three till basically to the best entry point that it was considered after rectangle number one and three right over here. This was the best one people could buy into considering the all time high, which they could um, trade, right? So, oops, that would be 135% as it looks like, right? So if the same thing repeats, like I said, you can um, expect high percentages. Now that's kind of all about, not gonna keep you longer. Uh, that's kind of all about this video presentation, guys, for today. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to share your comments, ideas within this video presentation comments area. And uh, you've got a subscribe button, share button, like, dislike, exactly what do you think about this? If 
the pattern repeats exactly like it repeated. What do you think about that? Let me see what you guys are looking for, as well as if you would like to become my student, feel free to check the first link in the description area where I have a coaching program that's one-on-one -on -one where I'm going to teach you how to become a professional trader where you can make as much as you want. So that's kind of all about. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon, guys. Do not forget that I'm trying to be more active and post more videos, trying to do this on a daily basis, help you to keep yourself updated with market analysis, so making your best decisions out there. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon.